Sometimes retwists can be a pandemic child, especially when they last only a few days. But do not sweat because in this video, I'm going to share with you some secrets that are going to make your retwists last even longer. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to The Real ZB. I'm Zintle and on this channel, I talk about my personal lock journey as well as share tips and tricks on how you can style and maintain your locks from the comfort of your own home. So today, as the title suggests, I am going to be talking about retwists, right? Because I know exactly how frustrating it can get when you get a fresh retwist or you get all the confidence um you have a little bounce in your step and you're feeling yourself and all of a sudden a few days later retwist gone right so today i'm going to be sharing some tips on how you can make your retwist last um even longer than two or three weeks so let's get into the video so the first tip that i have for you is to wrap up your hair when you go to sleep actually wrap your hair up as much as you possibly can okay i found that ever since i started using my little satin bonnets my retus have been lasting a lot longer because the satin or wrapping your hair up actually prevents your hair from getting as much frizz as it would normally would so if you sleep with your hair out it means that your hair is exposed to all of the elements and what will end up happening is that your hair will have some frizz and then the frizz will then ruin your fresh retwist so if you want to keep having your fresh retwist get yourself a satin scarf or a satin bonnet okay the one that i have on my head was 120 rand from clicks and Mona, it's quite stylish i look cute and you know i just feel like that girl i also have this one that i unboxed in one of my vlog videos um it's also satin inside so i just sort of like change them out um and i'm also like planning on getting a lot a lot a lot more so yes if you don't want your retwist to get spoiled within a few days make sure that you are wrapping your hair up when you sleep and also as far as possible if you can also wrap your hair up with a scarf or a bonnet if you are just sitting around the house chilling the next tip that i have for you is to try as far as possible not to get your hair wet okay especially if you're someone who likes to keep fit and active i know when you're working out you want to even double wrap your hair up when you're working out because guess what when you work out you get sweat and guess what sweat plus your 4c hair equals frizz you will get frizz so your retwist will start not being as fresh as you want it to so when i work out this is what i do if you would like to see a more full video of how i treat my hair when i'm working out then please let me know down in the comment section below what i use is these little scarfikis i have this one which is pink and camouflage and i have this one which i got years and years back um it just says f and b so i use these as sort of my base so what I normally do is tie my hair up, just a normal loose ponytail, and then I would put this over my hair. This provides some compression for the front of my hair, and it makes sure that my hair stays in place the whole time I am exercising, okay? So it, and it also keeps my hair in sort of a little shape. And yeah, so I wear these underneath, and then to secure it i put on one of these scarves so it's just like a normal scarf that i would wear so i'd wrap my hair up with this on top of this and i would go on about my exercising business now 
once you're done exercising don't take your wraps off actually wait for your um wait for your hair to dry first before you actually take your hair out because what will happen if you take out your wrap um sooner than you should is that your hair is still sweating right so if you expose it to the air and the elements what is going to happen is that your hair is going to frizz so when you're keeping your head wrapped on even after you're exercising it means that compression and that pressure is still going to be applied into your hair and then your frizz won't come um, won't come rooting out of your fresh retwist but then you're gonna ask me but Z you told me to wash my hair at least once a week so how possibly am I not going to get my hair wet if I'm supposed to be washing my hair once a week? My answer to your question comes with the next tip I have for you and that is to keep your hair in style, okay? Keep your hair in a nice low tension style and even when you wash it, you wash it while it is in that style, right? So right now I have lock knots in. When I wash my hair tomorrow, guess what? My lock knots will still be in my hair. And I found that not, um, not unraveling my style too early makes my retwist last longer because it keeps my hair in place and it makes sure that any frizz or any new growth that comes in actually forms in the pattern that I have allowed it to form in and when you let your hair run loose after you've done a retwist what is going to happen is that your hair is actually going to unravel because it's not laid in any kind of way so if you really want to stretch your retwists make sure that you are putting it in a nice protective hairstyle like the one that I have here I like to do two strand twist lock knots lock bob um, braid my hair whenever I actually um, retwist my hair because I know that I can look cute but I am also able to preserve integrity of my little retwist also make sure that you avoid using products that are going to cause buildup in your hair what's going to happen is that when the product that you use causes flakes or buildup in your hair what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take it down from whatever style it's in and scrub that buildup out and guess what's going to happen your retwist will literally disappear a bonus tip for you guys that i have found um, of late while I'm doing my retwist is this it's the Safeway hooded dryer from Clix I bought this for 170 Rand guys literally it's so cheap I bought this it's literally it literally mimics a hooded dryer but what I normally use it for is for my retwist so I will put this over my head and then I would attach it to a dryer like that and then i would put my dryer on the lowest setting and then it just sort of melts the product that i use when i retwist my hair and i found that drying um, my retwist um, once i have put it in makes it stay a lot longer in that position because it gets hard at the root and um, it won't unravel as quickly so do make sure that you pick this up obviously it's not an everyday thing because you don't want to apply heat on your hair all of the time but literally it's the lowest amount of heat um, that you will be applying on your hair so yeah if you're not sure how to retwist your hair yourself head over to this video right here and please subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and i will see you for the next video thank you so much for watching guys bye